still on high alert in eastern Kentucky as flooding continues to put people in danger. LEX 18's Evan Lee joins us again live this morning from Bertha County, where so many are just trying to simply stay afloat for this eastern Kentucky flooding coverage. Evan? Dia, Chris, that's right. We were able to talk to a lot of people in Jackson yesterday, which is about five minutes up the road here. So many people sharing their stories, so many emotions, scared, shocked, unsure what happens next amid all of these flooding fears. Hundreds of water rescues happening across eastern Kentucky yesterday with all the waters blowing through. Among that area dealing with water rescues, Lost Creek, which is not too far from Jackson, and it was really just such a touch and go situation. Communication, a big problem yesterday. Phone lines down through much of the day in Jackson, making the simple task of calling for help a very, very difficult one, near impossible through much of the day. Lexington Fire Department actually are helping with the rescue efforts. 18 missions, 26 people rescued, even civilians getting involved helping trapped staff at Riverside Catholic School. And Though so many people are brought back to safety, again, those emotions, so much shock around this right now. So many people that have seen flooding like this before, have seen flooding before, but nothing exactly like this. But I finally, I just was hanging on to a, a fern rope and I thought, I've got to do it, I've got to swim. But it was super swift. I've never, never swam in water like that. At least eight people have died as a result of the flooding across eastern Kentucky and Governor Andy Bashir expecting that death toll to rise into the double digits. Now, just a few miles past the water blocking the road here in Jackson, the impending danger comes from the Pan Bull Dam, which fire officials say is in danger of collapsing. Now that area around the dam has been evacuated. Highway 15 shut down to keep people away, but more than 100 buildings are in that area in danger of being swept away. Homes, businesses, churches, Churches, a school, a hospital. And as we continue to deal with all this flooding today, a community continues to hold on to hope that they can stay afloat. For now in Breathitt County, I'm Evan Leak, LEX 18 News.